Bonjour mon petit, it is I, the fabulous Treats, back with a new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick, easy, um, Afro, obviously, hairstyle. I had no idea what I was doing, so I kind of like changed the style in the middle of it, but you know, it worked out, it worked out, so we're here, we're gonna do it. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this, oh, by the way, um, I didn't get to show you guys this on camera because they stopped like down by my boobs, so you can't, you can't see these, but I have, I have little Julie things and, um, um, I'm drawing a blank. The shells, I can't think of the name of the shell. I got the shells on the end of a braid. So anyway, if you want to see how to get your hair like this, like I got mine, if you're interested, then keep on watching and I will catch you on the other side. So I don't know what I'm doing with my hair, but I am going to split it down the middle because I need to get my sections together. It just makes my hair easier to uh, manage. So I want max volume and I want my fro to be um, pretty stretched. So what we're going to do is, um, as soon as I get my hair sectioned off, <laughs> Y'all gotta see all this crust flying all over the place. It's so dirty. All right, so in order for us to get that max uh, stretch, that volume that we want, we're going to have to detangle our hair. Now, of course, we're not going to detangle on dry hair, um, but y'all know when I start detangling my hair, I like to start pulling at it, start stretching it getting it, you know, ready, loosening it up, and all that good stuff. So I'm doing that now, and I'm going to take my bottle of water and just mist my hair. Okay, there it is. And I'm gonna make sure that I work it into the section before I um, start doing anything to it, anything anything involving a comb. And of course, being uh, having my hair tight, my hair, as soon as it gets wet, it's, it starts shrinking immediately. Um, but I need it to soak in this moisture so it can expand and I can, I can get through it more easily. So now is the time that I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and I'm going to start detangling from ends to roots. And I'm gonna do that for um, all of these sections. All right, so now that we've got the section detangled, if you feel like you need to seal in the moisture, then you go ahead and do that. I'm not going to because there's still actually quite a bit of product left over in my hair and my hands are kind of greasy right now. Um, so I'm not even gonna do that. But this next part is imperative, okay? So, once you have your section detangled, you want to twist it up. And you want to make sure that twist is nice and tight so you can stretch out that section. All right, so now you got you a twist with a little bit of lymph on it, you know? So your hair shouldn't be soaking wet. Your hair shouldn't be dripping wet. Your hair should be just nice and moist and damp so that you could have gotten through it with your... Uh, comb and i'm probably not even gonna uh do the rest of this on camera because there i probably will do this in about eight sections so i'm just gonna okay i lied only half of it's done but i decided to come back on camera because number one i re realized that num you guys like to see this type of stuff y'all want to see the whole process and shit and number two um i need to tell you guys what i did with the other side once it's done so i just basically banded this side I know I could have told y'all that like an easier way, but what's better than seeing it with your own two eyes? So while this side is like, you know, banding and being stretched out, I leave that one to dry. And if you don't have a spray bottle that's misty, uh, then put the water in your hands because you really want the, the spray bottle to be misty. You don't want it to drench your hair because then if your hair gets drenched, it'll take too long to dry. And that's not what we're here for. 
wide tooth comb. Again, you make sure you comb from the root. I mean, the root. I'm sitting here trying to instruct y'all and I'm telling y'all the wrong shit. Make sure you comb from the end to the root. Ends to root. And do it lightly, bruh. You're not trying to rip your hair out. That's not what we're here for. And it may take you a little bit longer because you're not trying to rip through it. But if you comb your hair out lightly, you're not gonna have no problems. Like y'all ask me all the time, oh, Tree, what do you do about tangles? I work through them. Like your hair is going to get tangled. If you have coily, kinky hair, it's going to curl up on itself and you're gonna get tangles. But if you, if you pay attention to the way that you're combing your hair, then you ain't got nothing to worry about, see? Nothing to worry about. And the reason why you comb it lightly is because what happens is, if you start out on the top of your hair, you can get through it, right? But when you dig in it, that's when you have the problems. So if you start out on the top of your hair, you comb it lightly, then you can get deeper and deeper and deeper into it and you can boom, comb goes right through. You feel me? All right, so again, you just wanna split it and twist it. And you wanna try and make that twist pretty tight because you wanna stretch it out. Like we're trying to stretch out our hair. Y'all, it's so hot in here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> and then boom, you got a nice elongated twist. So let me tell y'all, I still don't know what I'm doing with my hair. Like on everything. I still don't know, no idea. I'm trying to think if I have ever done high puffs on here. I don't think I've done high puffs on here. So you know what? We gonna do high puffs today. I don't like how this camera is. And it's still um, a tiny bit damp. Not much though. Not anything that will hinder us from doing what we need to do. Now remember, because your hair is damp, it's still going to shrink more. If you want to let your hair dry more than you can, but like I said, I got somewhere to be, so I don't have that much time. I still got to do my makeup and all of that. You could totally just um, like pick out your fro and wear it, but I don't want my hair in my face tonight. Cause you could totally just, you know, pick out your Afro. So I actually need to take out this first one so that I could define my part. I never really give a crap about the back. If the part is crooked and the back is crooked. But this part right here is the one that I always care about. That's better. All right, so as you can see, this is starting to uh, like take shape. Y'all gonna be mad at me. <laughs> I didn't tell you my whole damn mind. Oopsies. All right, so I gotta take this guy out again because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a low, um, or like a mid-height bun. I mean, it's not gonna actually be, it's not gonna be low, it's not gonna be high, it's gonna be like mid-height. All right, my part is already defined, and then I'm just gonna take a small section out of the middle on both sides, and the part doesn't have to be defined, it doesn't have to be perfect. You do want your center part to be okay. So now we're gonna take the rest of this out, take out the twists, and just start letting it uh, morph and shrink up. Okay, so now you're going to take your hair. I think this is about where I want it. That looks about, that looks about right. You're gonna take your string and you're gonna put it on the top of your head and loop it around in the back. And you're just gonna start pulling the string to tighten it. And you're gonna push the top of it back. So you're gonna push that back and tighten this up. Push that back, tighten this up. And when you have it as tight as you want it, then you're just going to loop it. Tie it, secure it, whatever you wanna call it. Just be careful not to tie your hair into it. So you're gonna let the back of this puff start to do start to do her thing, okay? I swear y'all, I gotta get a mirror. And then you're gonna take the front out, and this is where you need your bobby pins, your black ones. You're gonna take one side, swoop it around, bring it underneath, take your bobby pin, and pin her in place. 
That's one side. You're gonna take the other side and do the exact same thing. And you can use as many bobby pins as you want or need to to make it feel secure. Um, I think I'm gonna use like maybe two more. All right, so now you're going to just fluff it and shape it and let it take, you know, let her take her time and do her thing. She'll get it together. And then once it finally has like a shape that you can get with, then you're gonna take your spray bottle and mist the whole thing. And then you're going to pat it in place. And if y'all know anything about me and my afros, I can't have no whack ass shape in my fro, you know what I'm saying? Don't play that. Trees don't play that. Y'all could kick it with these other raggedy, unpadded fros if you want to. But uh, not round y'all. The fro must be shaped. The fro must be padded. The top, I'm gonna have to wait for it to shrink up a bit more before I can do what I need to do with it. But I'll have to go put some makeup on so I can come back and y'all can see me looking cute. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of another tutorial with Trees. and as always, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give me a big old thumbs up, but more importantly than that, I need you guys to please share this video. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, Insta. Wait, can you share videos on Insta? I don't think you can. Listen, wherever you can paste this link, wherever you can post this link, wherever you can copy and share this link, please do so. Share it in your group chat, share it on WhatsApp, share it with your friends. I don't, listen, everybody needs to know, everybody. Everybody, okay? Thank you. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And if you are, if you are one of my petites, make sure you hit that notification bell. Turn your notifications on so that you are aware when I drop these videos. Um, you guys have spoken and it looks like Tuesday and Thursday is the move. Uh, so if this video is up on a Monday, my bad. I don't wanna hear nothing. We, we gonna work it out, we gonna figure it out. Don't worry about that. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Call me underscore trees. You know the name. You know where I am. You know where to find me if you're looking for me. If you don't know where to find me, then you don't know me and you don't need to be looking for me. But then again, you need to know me. So subscribe. Okay, that's all there is to say. And there is no more except, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. And I will catch you in the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.